Grandpa Bill, Grandpa Bill, story time with Grandpa Bill. It's Grandpa Bill's story time. Yay! Hi, I'm Grandpa Bill. Welcome to Grandpa Bill's story time. Come on in, make yourself comfortable, and we're going to sit down and read a good book. Okay, our book today is One Zillion Valentines. Ah, it's a lot of Valentines by Frank Model. <laughs> One zillion valentines. <laughs> okay, here we go. One of Marvin's favorite days was Valentine's Day. Mm, February 14th, Valentine's Day. That's when a lot of people give each other cards, sometimes chocolates and stuff like that. If I had a lot of money, I'd buy all those valentines, said Marvin. That's silly, said Milton. You don't even have a girl. Valentines aren't just for girls. Valentines are for everybody, said Marvin. If I were a pilot, I'd draw a great big one in the sky. Oh, a big heart shape. <laughs> That's cute. You don't have to buy valentines. You can make them. All you do is get a lot of paper and draw a big heart like this, said Marvin. I can do that, said Milton. Anyone can do it, said Marvin. I bet we could make a zillion valentines, one for everybody in the neighborhood. A zillion is a lot of valentines, said Milton. We better start right away. <laughs> Milton went to his house and got out his paint set, his scissors, and coloring paper. Mm -hmm. Marvin went to his house and got out his crayons, colored pencils, and a lot of paper. Mm -hmm. They're gonna do this, yeah. They made valentines with big hearts, with little hearts, skinny hearts, fat hearts, polka dot hearts, striped hearts, red hearts on white paper, and white hearts on red paper. Oh man, all kinds of valentines. <laughs> valentines mean I love you, right? Yeah. Now, what do we do, said Milton. We send them to everybody, said Marvin. That's silly, said Milton. We don't need a zillion, we'll need a zillion stamps. No, we won't, said Marvin. We'll put them under people's doors. I'll take this side of the street, and you take the other side of the street. Oh, they're sliding them out of the door instead of mailing them. The next morning, everybody in the neighborhood was surprised to find a valentine under their door. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was a doggy found one. <laughs> valentines, valentines, oh, a little child. Valentines, oh, they're all got valentines under their door. We have lots left over, said Milton. I guess we made too many. <laughs> there are so many Valentines. No, we didn't, said Marvin. People like to send Valentines too. They just don't know. They, they don't. Oh, blah, blah. They don't just like to get them. Yeah, I like to send them too. Yeah. Who's making up a little sign here? I wonder what it says. Valentines, homemade, five cents. They're selling them. Oh, so people can buy them and give them to other people. Oh, that's a nice thing to do. Make a little money. They're all gone, said Milton. Great, said Marvin. Maybe, said Milton, but I bet we don't, we don't get a Valentine from anyone. Sure we do, said Marvin. Follow me. Mm-hmm. Ooh, he's whoosh, whoosh, rushing down to the to the shop, the candy card shop. Happy Valentine's Day to you, Milton. A happy Valentine's Day to you too, Marvin. Oh, you got a big heart-shaped box of chocolates. 
<laughs> and they eat them all. <laughs> Chocolates are good, aren't they? <laughs> Valentine's Day. Oh, one zillion Valentines. What a nice book. Thank you for uh, sharing this story with me today. Come back again for more stories to Grandpa Bill. Goodbye.